Welcome back. You're still with us on Startup Street. With a rising emphasis on sustainability and climate action, several investors are now looking to fund startups that are leading a change. Avana Capital is on the same route. The climate-focused VC firm has recently announced the first close of $70 million for its climate and sustainability fund, and it is aiming to mobilize capital and support innovative climate solutions aligned with India's net zero targets. Now, the VC's founding partner, Anjali Bansal, joins us now to discuss about the fund and their plans to invest in Indian startups. Anjali, thank you so much for joining us on Startup Street. Now, climate change has been the big buzzword, but even as startups push toward innovation, climate tech has not seen the same kind of investment maturity or depth as other prominent areas. So what have the conversations with your investors been like with regard to climate uh, tech space in India? Uh, what's the potential? Thank you very much for having me on uh, Startup Street at CNBC. I think it's a very exciting time and a very opportune time indeed to be investing behind climate solutions. It's, frankly, it's something we should have all started as a, as a planet about 20 years ago, but better late than never. Um, we are seeing a lot of global interest uh, outside India as well as within India. Outside India and many other markets in North America and Europe, we have climate tech and climate focused funds, thematically focused funds. In India, we are still at the beginning of the journey, but we do have fairly specific targets as a country. Honorable Prime Minister has laid out the Panchamrita goals. Right. Climate is a large part of the national agenda. And we see a large number of our big corporates as well as uh, so across industry, across innovation and across policy, a commitment mm. to solving for climate change. Mm. And as we all know, you know, India is the most populous nation mm. in the world. Uh, mm. Right, Anjali, I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to stop you there. Your phone is ringing, so we're not able to hear you very clearly. It would be great if you could silence your phone. My phone is not ringing. Um, it's, uh, it's buzzing in the background. Um, unclear? Yeah. Yeah, that would be better. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. So, India is integral to any global climate solution, and hence, whatever we do in India really has an impact not just on our country, but also around the world. All right. And your first close is at $70 million. How much do you hope to raise and when will we see the final close? Uh, talk to us about what's exciting to you about this space in India, but what are also the key challenges? So we are looking to raise about 100 to 125 million. As right. Said, uh, mentioned earlier. Uh, we will invest in about 20 to 25 companies, all at the early stage. We are an early stage investor to go in uh, with innovation, with great founders that Right. Um, Anjali, uh, I'm really sorry, but the phone is uh, actually getting in the way of your audio. You're going to have to silence it at this point. Oh yeah, yeah, the vibration. Yeah, it's going to, it's... It's coming. All right. We, we, we seem to be facing a little bit of disturbance there. Um, we can try again. As you were saying, what were the key challenges, Anjali? The key challenges uh, on achieving climate impact are around mitigation, adaptation, and resilience building. Mitigation, of course, is around carbon emission, reduction of GHG footprint. And in India, 90% of that actually comes from three sectors that Avana focuses on, and I'll speak about that in a minute. But in addition to mitigation, in, a, in the global south, of which India is a large representative, we also have to think about transitioning our economies and societies, so adaptation, and resilience, which really aims to protect vulnerable communities and professions, MSMEs, rural agriculture from climate action, climate change. Uh, we spoke about the three sectors. 90% of India's emission footprint comes from the sectors that Avana focuses on, and that's why we have chosen them. Energy transition, supply chain and mobility, and climate resilient agriculture. Not only is it a large part of the emission footprint, but it's also a large part of our economy, and consequently, big market opportunity. So climate problem, climate opportunity are two sides of the same coin. Absolutely. In fact, I was going to talk about the three sectors that you're focusing on. Investments over the years in these particular three sectors have actually seen an uptick. So give us a sense of the kind of innovations you're looking at in each of these verticals. So in energy, for example, everything that goes from microgrid to storage to grid access, uh, India, of course, has a large grid access. So access per se, but the cost of access, um, storage, Carbon footprinting, carbon measurement, scope three measurement, mitigation, sequestration, carbon markets is all part of the energy transition story. We also look at resources, including water and waste management and circular economy. Supply chain and electric mobility is a very exciting sector in India. Supply chain digitization leads to efficiencies and decarbonization. 
And of course, we are seeing a very exciting story play out in the electric mobility space, whether it is with the charging infrastructure, its software solutions, we have companies like Kazam that are building the software layer for interoperability across charging. We have companies like Aaron that are creating a full stack solution for rooftop, solar and energy transition. And on the agri and climate resilient agriculture side, so really creating food security for the country and for the world, companies like Iki Foods that are able to grow uh, everyday Bharat ki sabzi solutions in uh, a hot climates like Kota in Rajasthan at market prices, 8 to 10 rupees a kilo for tomatoes. And consequently, we are seeing very exciting new technologies emerge that will solve not just for India, so solving for India, but also solving for the world. Right, so not just solving for India, but solving for the world. So some exciting innovations there. But Anjali, we're completely out of time on the show. Thank you so much for joining us and we wish you all the best going forward. Thank you very much. On that note, it is a wrap on this edition of Startup Street. More news and updates coming up on the other side. Stay tuned.